Stage one of the third edition of the Tour de Yorkshire took the riders from Bridlington to Scarborough. With 1,900 metres of elevation on the route, it was set to be a tough stage. With 155 kilometres of racing remaining, Frenchman Perequemino raced clear. He was joined over the next kilometres by a group that swelled to eight riders. They pushed on to try and build their lead. Their advantage reached over four minutes before the peloton, headed mainly by Svein Tufte Vorica Scott, decided to control them and for much of the race their advantage was around two minutes. Van Empel of Roompot hunted for King of the Mountains points and some riders cracked on the steep slopes of the various hills. The constant of the day was the beautiful scenery and the huge crowds. Eventually as the race reached Robin Hood's Bay, Quimino was clear alone. He linked up with Connor Dunn of Aqua Blue Sport, who took the Dimension Data digital jersey for the most active rider. The peloton was split into groups, but in sight of the final 10 kilometers, the key sprinters all reached the front and the dynamic duo were caught. They shook hands after 140 kilometers in the lead. Defending champion Thomas Volkler had a spirited attempt to win but the sprinters refused to let him go. The scene was set for a sprint on Scarborough Seafront, but there was one more twist in store. Magnus Court Nielsen crashed heavily and many riders joined him on the deck. Dylan Gronewagen was untroubled. He powered home to win stage one, a feat he enjoyed last year. Second was Ewan, the young Australian. Gronewagen clinched the leader's blue jersey Yorkshire is clearly a happy hunting ground for the Dutch champion.